Tailgate Special here on Eagle All Access and WEMU. Greg Steiner here alongside head coach Ron English as we talk a little about your signing today and Mm -hmm. just kind of overall thoughts and feelings on on what you were able to get in this class. Well, I thought we did uh, the best job since we've been here of evaluating. Uh, I thought we did a nice job of that, of teaching every man what we look for in evaluation and how we do it and then taking the time to actually do it over a period of time and know what you're getting. And then we really addressed our needs. You know, we got stand-up players on defense. We, we wanted to do that. And we got some explosive players that could run on offense. And uh, we got a quarterback. And uh, so I feel good about uh, the guys we brought in. And um, I expect them to contribute right away. You have uh, 20 players right now signed, uh, 11 of those high school kids and nine transfers of some sort. Uh, did snow create any problems or just general difficulties today trying to get the class in? Well, yes, it did. And I tried to, I went and got a haircut and ran on a treadmill because I didn't want to be up here all nervous. But snow certainly um, uh, caused a problem. But we got them all in by uh, noon except two. One of them, he's having some issues with uh, weather. And so we hope to get his in and then another has some a family situation. So hopefully tomorrow we get those last two and I'll feel really good because those are young defensive linemen that we need. Right now you have 13 players on defense. Talk about how the, you got quality and depth there. Knowing that I know you really wanted to reinforce that. We wanted to increase our team speed on defense. I felt like we did that. Uh, particularly at linebacker and safety. We wanted to upgrade our team speed there, and I feel like we did that. And then I th- I think we really recruited well at the cornerback position. Uh, I like the high school kid um, that we took, Chris Strange. Uh, he's a long guy who's very, very athletic, and I was worried up until the end that somebody would come in and take him because he's that kind of a guy. And then, you know, we took Ricky Crouch and Brian uh, Polly as the two uh, junior college safeties. And then uh, the two high school safeties, Kevin Johnson, I call him KJ because I actually went to Cal with uh, Kevin Johnson. That's probably way back. People don't remember KJ, but Kevin Johnson, who's a very smart, uh, very talented uh, football player. Uh, I'm really excited about him. And then Kurt Anderson went and, uh, and got another highly, highly recruited uh, player um, out of Chicago, uh, by the name of Cotton, so uh, to, to get him was uh, important. Third recruiting class overall now at Eastern. Have you seen a big difference from this year to the start, especially looking at some of the guys on there? A lot of guys rated in the top under 100 of the best players in their entire position in the country. Well, we uh, we did a better job of evaluating um I think that, well, you know, when you talk about defense here, we do have some guys who have some resumes to be able to go stand in the home and say, if you come here, we will be able to do this with you or that with you. And I think, as you see, many of those players are defensive guys. And uh, so um, that helps us, you know, to be able to walk in the home and say, this is what, this is my resume, and this is what we can do to help you in your career. But the other thing, uh, I think the one of the huge reasons that we recruited some of the players we recruited this year is our administration has been unbelievable. We have one of the best visits you're going to have in this league. Uh, I don't know people that come in and have dinner with the university president. And not only that, but how engaging she is and how wonderful she is to talk to and how down to earth she is and she makes people feel at home. And then to meet with the athletic director, uh, many one-on-one, and then to meet with the vice president of communications, uh, Walter Kraft, for the entire university, the mouthpiece of our school. And then all the things that the regents have done in terms of our training table, in terms of our nutrition station, in terms of really our strength and conditioning staff. Those guys have been huge in our development and our indoor facility. So this thing is coming together, and uh, my job is to uh, bring our staff together and get more wins so that we can do because I do want to do a better job in state. Yeah, you mentioned that we had a lot of uh, recruits from California and Illinois, respectively, leading the way with yeah. 13 of those, but only three kids from yeah. Michigan. Yeah. Talk about kind of how that all broke down and maybe your desire to have had more. Well, we wanted, there were another two that we, because I went over the list yesterday, as you can imagine, because, you know, we get the list of the top 50 guys, and I see 
that maybe uh, Central Michigan has maybe eight or ten of those guys, and then Western has two or three of those guys, and BG and so on and so forth. So I'm wondering why don't we have those guys? And uh, there, there are two realities there. One is uh, there were two or three that we wanted uh, that we just were not able to get. And two is, you know, we got to win to get these kids in state to come here. They've uh, seen this program uh, not win for a long time. And uh, they don't understand, I think, or realize the commitment now that Eastern really has to this football program. And it is a true commitment. It's a huge um, commitment financially. And not only that, but with all of the work that everybody's doing that's involved with the program. So the more we win, the more we'll recruit. But my, what I, what's important to me is I want every single kid uh, recruited. And I want us to know about every single kid that's a Mac kid in this state. And if we do that and we don't get them, uh, I can understand that. But there were a couple that I thought we could have done a better job on, to be honest with you. I have a lot of kids actually in school right now, seven of them already here. And what do you think is the biggest impact of having them now here and maybe getting with Coach Fight before spring ball? Well, no doubt. They get with Fight. And he, uh, I don't know if you've been down there, Greg, but is, is he, he's fantastic. Yeah. And uh, all and his assistants are fantastic. And I really, uh, I was telling Coach Snow the other day, I love his staff. I love the guys he hired. They're good guys and they're knowledgeable people. And I absolutely love the staff. But uh, what happens is, is they get used to the pace of Division One football. It's not junior college football. It's completely different. The demands are different on their time and, and, and just to do things the right way and to wear the right clothes and to say the right things and to do the right things. And so... What it does is, is they really have a legitimate chance to compete going into the fall because uh, they'll get a full pace of spring football and then, boom, summer conditioning and away we go. Well, hit, lastly, on kind of uh, skill positions, you brought in three running backs and a QB this yeah. time, something that wasn't kind of addressed last recruiting class, but I know a definite need now this year with Dwayne Priest being out of yeah. the picture from last year. Well, I, I you know, I think Dominique Scherer, you know, people, you know, I thought – he was going to be the start running back at one point. And, and he and Priest, who did a fantastic job for us last year, I love Dwayne Priest, so I'm not saying anything negative towards Priest, but that's how good Sher was playing. And then he has a high ankle that lasted about eight weeks, and so he never really got to perform. Uh, but he comes back, and I'm excited about him. And so we do have some guys coming back. What we're going to do is uh, we're, we're definitely going to play Ryan Brumfield at running back. Uh, he is a true back. His dad played in the MAC, and uh, we're excited for him to come in and show what he can do. He's a very explosive guy. He's a 6'10 high jumper. I mean, he's a, a sub 4'5 running back. So we feel good about him. We're going to play him at running back. Uh, and then Tyler Allen, we're going to play at receiver. And Tyler Allen is probably the favorite to win the state 100 meters this year. He can really run, but he's got some toughness too. That's why I liked him when I watched him. I said, I'll take him. And then Bronson Hill. Um, is if he can be one of our top backs, then he can be a running back. If not, then he's going to come play for Coach English, and I think he knows that. I told him that you just have to be flexible, and we'll see where you end up. So uh, we took three, or maybe we took two, or could have taken one running back. Well, th spring practice just 34 days away. I know it's good to be home for a change, but I'm sure you're excited to uh, – Get out there. Not the best of day to do it, but yeah, but the bubble is going to make a big difference. Is that unbelievable or what? If you look at this right now, we wouldn't be able to train. And uh, right now we're training every day. And uh, I'm, I'm more excited about next Tuesday we do what's called mat drills, which is a, a, a conditioning program for our team. And our coaches are all involved in the mats. And, and uh, so I'm excited to get back out there with the players. I love the feel of the team right now and the vibe, and I think our culture is steadily changing, and I think we have a foundation that's uh, really solidly in place. And uh, I'm just excited uh, not only for spring football but for to finish up this winter conditioning and be around our players. Getting close, only a few more days. Spring game, April 10th. We'll see it soon enough. For uh, complete updates and everything about this EMU sign class, visit emueagles.com. For Coach Ron English, I'm Greg Steiner. We'll see you next time.